no, 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 you are not seeing clips from Hollow Knight Silk Song. Sorry, sorry to disappoint you. What you are watching is clips from the trailer of the latest game from the developers of Pal World. Yes, Pal World just came out, and there's another new game coming out, apparently Q1 of 2024, at least in early access, and it's called Nevergrave. So Pal World has been this huge success, like maybe one of the biggest games ever in video game history. I just looked before hitting the record button on this video, and there were 1.2 million concurrent players. So yeah, people like it. Myself included, love Pal World. I made a video about it, you can see the link in the description. But what this video is about is about the digging that I did afterwards. I was looking to see, hey, what else has this developer done? So they did this game called Craftopia. I remember when that came out, I didn't play it. It looks quite similar to Pal World in the like non-Pal stuff that you do, crafting and building alone on an island. It's a big sandbox, all of that type of stuff. This game, Nevergrave, is a Metroidvania roguelite. And it honestly looks kind of cool. Now, before you say anything about, oh my gosh, they're copying Hollow Knight now, they copied Pokemon, now they're copying Hollow Knight, dude. Here is my take on this. Nothing in art is new. Leave them the f alone. Pal World's a blast, so I'm excited for this game. What is it exactly? According to the Steam page, you're journeying with the aid of a cursed hat whatever that means. You're using a bunch of magic and you're possessing your enemies to reach the lowest levels. And I'm guessing that means the lowest levels of the map, basically, or whatever it is. Maybe you're going to the grave. It is called Never Grave. And there is apparently a very big base piece of this. So you go out, you get a bunch of stuff, you level up your gear, you get loot, you come back and you build up something of a base. In the game, they call it your village, where you build facilities. In fact, yeah, I see aspects of Hollow Knight here in the art style and obviously Metroidvania, but I also see some spirit fairer type influence going on. You know what I mean? You've got the side scrolling, build a base thing going on, which is super cool. If you've got those two loops going on simultaneously, just like you do in Power World, you've got the home loop and then you've got the battling loop. I never really thought one was enough, which is why Animal Crossing, for me, just hit a ceiling at some point. Like, I can only play in a sandbox for so long before I'm like, um, is this going anywhere? I just keep, I just keep building stuff. Just, just keep building stuff. So all we have to go on here, what the developers have said about it. It's all been really hush-hush. There's not a lot of coverage about it. But it's a 2D action game. I'm just looking at the Steam page here. You've got this cursed hat and you fight with magic, you attack enemies, of course, and it says sometimes you use the terrain to win, whatever that means. This is a pretty interesting part. This is very different from other Metroidvanias we see. Dungeons, apparently, and these botanical gardens are auto-generated, and they change every time you play, which is kind of like a Remnant 2 thing. So that's kind of interesting. How do you put that into a Metroidvania? if it's ever changing and moving, because usually you're going back to other areas. So that's quite interesting. There's also apparently this whole mechanic around possessing your enemies. It says that you can possess enemies and then you use their unique abilities, the abilities from the enemies that you possess to influence the action. You get different skill sets and moves and magic apparently, and you get advantages in the battles based on these enemies that you possess. I'm in really interested to see how that works. And this is interesting. I'm going to read this verbatim from the Steam page here so that you can see what I mean. It says, Rebuild a ruined village. Use materials collected in the dungeons to clear the rubble of ruined villages. Build new facilities and cultivate crops in the fields. Produce food and potions in the village to prepare for the next battle. So this is kind of interesting. So it sounds like you can continue to expand your base by taking out the... It's almost like an XCOM 2 type system, it sounds like, right? Remember you had that XCOM to grid and you had to assign workers to it to clear out all the I, like I don't know what was hiding in those things in order to expand your base and build facilities in those different slots is that what we're going to see here and that's it that's that's all we see from the trailer and what we've got on the steam page it actually looks kind of interesting here we've got a metroidvania in a hollow knight kind of style we have a village building system where you can make it bigger and bigger and excavate and it's spirit fairer ish it looks like at least so it's in that 2d side scrolling style 
This is the most interesting thing to me that parts of the map auto generate every time. So you're kind of going into a completely unique situation every single run. Can you imagine if Hades did stuff like that? I would still be trying to beat it. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a character creator here, which isn't really surprising. We don't usually get those in Metroidvania games. The possession system is interesting. It's probably not going to be too different than what we've seen before. I don't know if you're just going to be sucking up the boss's abilities and then using those. I'm not sure. Or if this is something you're gonna be able to do all the time like you do with Kirby. That's another inspiration, isn't it? It's like a Kirby game. You suck up the other abilities and then you, oh my God. But this is the thing, this game looks cool. And I've seen a little bit online about how it's like a Hollow Knight clone, whereas Pal World was a Pokemon clone. Give me a break, come on. Pal World's got so much more going on than Pokemon. I don't care about the similarities of the, it was fun, <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. It is really, really fun. And with this, there's clearly so much more going on than Hollow Knight. First of all, it'll probably be easier. Hope it'll be easier. Then you have this whole base building type system. Then you have the auto generation of different pieces of levels. You have this whole village that you run and it talks about making a living. And then you have the possession mechanic. This sounds pretty cool. And if there's one thing that Pocket Pair has shown that they can do is that they can take a lot of inspiration from other folks that have been successful and turn it into a great game, which doesn't feel like a mishmash. It seems cohesive and super fun. I just wanted to share this with you because nobody's talking about it. It's just sort of sitting out there. This is now one of the most successful developers on Steam ever. So we need to be looking at what they're doing next. What do you think? You want to play this? Do you really feel like it's a Hollow Knight clone too? Are you hopefully skeptical? How are you feeling about this? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as of this recording, I'm still a very tiny channel, just a very small little baby channel. If you'd consider smashing the like button and subscribing, well, you know what? I'd appreciate it. All right, enough of that. See you soon. Oh, and don't forget to have fun.